Hello grade 7, how are you? Let's start in our lesson today, unit 2 lesson 1, which is talking about the fundamental forces in nature. Before we start, you should know the meaning of force. Simply force is a pull or a push something. So if you have a pull, for example, and you stop it from being in motion, this is a force, or you change its direction, this is also a force, or you change it from being static to motion, this is a force so the force means an effect which attempts to change the object state and the meaning of the word attempts to try to do something it may change or not why because sometimes i don't have the suitable force to change the object state but if you do a push or a pull this is the meaning of force okay so again an effect which attempts trying to change the object state from being static to motion or vice versa or attempt to change the motion direction forces cannot be seen but we can feel them in some phenomena like yes as you said lightning and thunder or wind motion and the most common example which is the gravitational force Let's talk about the fundamental forces in our nature. They are classified into four categories. Number one, the attraction force, the electromagnetic force, the strong and the weak nuclear forces. Starting with the first one, the gravitational force, the weight, and you may have a previous knowledge about the weight before in grade six, you studied it. Isaac Newton was the first one who discovered the Earth's gravitational force when he was standing under a tree and he found an apple falling down to the ground. Then he proved that all masses are attracted toward the Earth's center. Okay, so the meaning of an object's weight is the force of the Earth's gravitational to the object. And you know from grade 6 also that the weight equals mass times the gravity acceleration and the measuring unit of weight is Newton. Does the weight change from one place to another? Yes, even you are in the earth and you change it, your place from the north or south pole to the equator or vice versa, your weight changes also. While the mass doesn't change, the mass is constant. And you know the rule that we talk in grade 6 also, that the weight equals mass times gravity acceleration. You may use this magic triangle to find weight or mass. High to find weight equals mass times gravity acceleration, while the mass equals weight over gravity acceleration the second part of this lesson which is talking about the electromagnetic force and you talk in grade 4 how to do the electromagnet simply we use a battery connected with the electric wires and the iron nail and copper coil around it so the iron nail becomes temporary magnet and this proves that the electric current has a magnetic effect application on the electromagnet it used in for uh, it used in the electric uh, winch and you know the electric winches or cranes which lift the scrap iron and cars in ports and the electric bill we have another application on the electromagnetic force which are electric generator and the electric motor the difference between the dynamo and the motor the dynamo or the generator converts the kinetic or mechanical energy into electric energy while the motor converts the electric energy into mechanical energy the last part in this lesson which is talking about the nuclear force and uh, you may know a full explanation about the nuclear force inshallah in grade 9 and 10 the scientists discovered that the atoms store a massive amount of energy inside the nucleus and we use these forces as weak nuclear force and strong nuclear force in different ways 
Weak nuclear force, we use it to get radioactive elements. Radiation is used in medicine, industry, and scientific research. While strong nuclear force is used in producing electric energy and in military purposes. Thank you all. See you in next session, inshallah.